Okay, so we're going to talk about path-independent vector fields. And basically what this means, uh, a vector field is path-independent. If whenever you pick a point A and a point B, then the line integral of, of F along any curve only depends on A and B. So in other, in other words, the line, integral, the line integral of F along this curve is equal to the line integral of F along that curve. And it's the same as that curve or this curve, whatever. It's just the line integral, so, so F is path independent, a vector field is path independent, if for every two points A and B, uh, the line integral of any path from A to B only depends on A and B and not the actual path that you take. So another name for a vector field like this is conservative because this is exactly the type of force that you see in physics, conservative forces, or th those are a big class of forces, like gravity, the, the work that you do doesn't matter on the path that you take. It just matters the beginning point and the ending point. That's all that matters. Okay, so we have this theorem uh, that's so, um, in particular, what this means, <clears throat> excuse me, what this means is that if F is a gradient vector field, if F is a gradient vector field, so let me write this here, if F, this net doesn't necessarily go along with that theorem. Um, if F is equal to the gradient of F, then F is path independent. Why is that? Well, let R be a curve, or let R be a parameterization of a curve. I'm being a little not precise here. Let R be a parameterization of a curve um, from r of a to r of b then the line integral of the gradient of f over c is just equal to f of the endpoint minus f of the start point so it doesn't matter what the curve is it doesn't matter what that path is uh, just as long as it starts at R of A and ends at R of B. Okay, that's what the theorem that we saw before. That is exactly what, uh, let me find it. That is exactly what this theorem here, uh, no, I'm sorry. That is exactly what this theorem, uh, let me, oh, come on. Okay, I once had to get my grandmother to help me with my computer, so I'm not sure if I'm the best at this. Okay, that's exactly what this is saying. When you look at the gradient of F on any curve, it only depends on the starting point and the ending point of the curve. Notice that, that this side of the theorem, this side of the theorem doesn't have any information about the actual path other than the starting point and the ending point. And that is exactly what it means for a vector field to be path independent. Okay, so essentially what we're going to show uh, in the next video is that a vector field is path independent. Well, we're not going to show this, but we're going to talk about it. A vector field is path independent if and only if it is the uh, potential of some scalar, or sorry, it is the gradient of some scalar valued potential.